Into a quark one, into this, and then time quark two correctly, and then 9,700 damage is good damage for a single dash cancel. Wall splat, and jump into the air, and grab them, and then something like that. Oh yeah, that one gets to see the full damage. So if she can get good damage off of her red attack and her loop, like this one. Like if you're using the loop, a bread and butter combo looks like this. And then at some point you'll do two attacks into the quirk one, and then you've gotten 10,800 damage earlier, but you get the point. Use a quirk one to send them even further flying into the wall. And then she will get more damage from that, just from adding one loop. You can combo into her plus ultra. Um, and combo out of it pretty easily, using supports like Jiro or someone. You're probably gonna be doing that off, um, pretty often. There we go, 15,000 damage, 15,700 damage. Of course, if you've gotten into the air, like doing something like this, like you'll end in a wall splat. And yeah, basically, just using her bread and butter combos and her main uh, use of mix ups and her really strong mix up is her when you, you have her charged quirk one and you can go invisible, then she has really, really strong mix ups. Okay, now let's get into her combos. So, the regular bread and, cup oh, well, bread and butter combo that I like to do with Tsuyu. Um, if I'm not using her loop, like this one, like if you're using the loop, a bread and butter combo looks like this. And then at some point you'll do two attacks into the quirk one, and then you've gotten 10,800 damage. I think I got 11,500 damage before, just depends on how many repetitions you want to do. But I don't really want to show you guys this, because it obviously... It's broken, it's not fun. That's, that, uh, that's not what I like to cover. <laughs> yeah, okay, so a regular combo with two non-looped looks something like this. Two attacks into the yellow attack. Into a quark one, into this, and then time quark two correctly. And then 9,700 damage is good damage for a single dash cancel. That's average damage. Pretty good. Especially since people are always saying, Oh, so you gets no damage from anything. She's so low tier. But yeah, that's pretty good damage if you ask me. Sometimes you mess it up. Like, especially if you're me recording. But usually they're not that hard. It really depends on when you cancel into the quirk one there. If you cancel it too early or too late, you can mess up in so many ways. But, yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple. If you want to make it easier, you can, like, leave out either the yellow move or the uh, tilt quirk one. But, obviously, it does more damage if you together. And you gotta make sure you dash cancel before. Um, yeah. If you want to get a wall splat, you can either just cancel it earlier if you think you're, um, if 
you think you're gonna get a wolf blood somehow from the ground, but usually I recommend. Doing that. Now we're on the wall. And there, that was 10,000 damage. Single dash cancel. I could have done more. Here, I'll show again what I could have done. Oh, damn it. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Sorry, guys. Two hits. Do the yellow attack. And then do something like this. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. Wall splat. And jump into the air. And grab them. And then something like that. Oh yeah, that was similar damage. But yeah, you get the point. You could have added dash cancels or whatever. But that's pretty pretty good damage for Tsuyu. Um, a lot of the time I like to add just one repetition of the um, armor loop into it. So I'll do one attack into the armor attack. And then two attacks. And then start that way. So, we're on the wall suddenly. <laughs> And then she will get more damage from that, just from adding one loop. You can add more and more if you'd like, but I don't know, I feel a bit cheap if I do any more than one. I think it would be really fair if she did one, it gives her slightly better damage. It's not crazy overpowered. And she's getting, yeah, decent damage. Um, anyways, yeah, that's her bread and butter combo. She can do practically the same thing from the air, and leave it early, and just end it with zero dash cancels to get 7,800 damage, which is pretty good for a red attack and no dash cancels. But you can dash cancel and basically just do the whole thing twice. And get 10,000 damage, which is pretty good damage for off of a red attack. That is a really good red attack, and that is a really, really good red attack, especially if you're invisible, and then all of a sudden you're getting 10,000 damage just because your opponent didn't react to you doing a red attack that they can't react to. So, yeah. I actually think Tsu's damage is quite high or decent. Um, if you're facing a wall and you get a red attack, you can do a combo like this. Oh, and then cancel a bit earlier, but you get the point. Use a quirk one to send them even further flying into the wall. Ten thousand three hundred damage for zero dash cancels. It's pretty high damage if you ask me. Um, for her, um, because she can combo into her plus ultra, um, and combo out of it pretty easily using supports like Jiro or someone. You're probably gonna be doing that off, um, pretty often. There we go, 16,600 damage off of a pretty easy combo, and using her. Mm, plus Ultra 1. You can even have zero dash cancels if you like. There we go, 15,000 damage, 15,700 uh, 15, damage. Of course I get it as soon as I <laughs> stop recording and try again. Anyways, yep, that's an easy combo she can get with using a Jiro support, and obviously it'll work with someone like Kami or Bakugo. Not Momo, I just have Momo here because I like my teams to be somewhat canon, and I feel like Tsuyu, Froppy, and Momo works pretty well. Because, you know, girl squad, 
UA girls. Anyways, um, what other combos can you get with two? Basically, it's all gonna be about the same thing, whether you start with the red attack, and however many, many dash cancels you want to put into it. Obviously, you're gonna end your combos in different ways if you've gotten into the air, like doing something like this, like you'll end in a wall splat. And, yeah, basically, just using her bread and butter combos and her main uh, use of mix ups and her really strong mix up is her when you have her charged quirk one and you can go invisible. Then she has really, really strong mix ups. You can always go in for this red attack, and then from the red attack, you're getting good damage. Doing the same combo, basically. Or you can go in for a regular attack string, and if they block that, then you go for this red attack. Essentially, she's like really scary mix up machine when she's invisible. And that's basically to you in a nutshell, guys. She's not weak at all, I don't think. Like, not one tiny bit. She has really good wall splat tools, she has good pressure on guard, she is surprisingly good at breaking the opponent's guard, and she has really interesting guard pressure with this move, because a lot of the time they release block far too early, and then they get hit by it. She has interesting um, spacing tools with her tongue attack, with these ones that like just little pokes that catch the opponent so many times in a match, like, you, you don't even know until you play played to how many times you hit with these. They're not even projectiles, they just hit so much, and obviously because they're scared of those, you're going to be able to hit them with your red version in the air here, like if they think you're jumping in the air to do the quirk too, and you grab them, and then do whatever combos from whatever you want. She's just, I don't know, she's a fun character, she can do a plus ultra 1 in the air, which is really powerful, she's always able to get high damage and convert using Jiro, and yeah, she can get combos, has great mix-ups, and she's actually kind of like an interesting brawler with mix-ups, she doesn't have any projectiles, she just has really interesting movement with her, um, ye her yellow move and stuff, but yeah, that's to you in a nutshell, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one, bye guys! <laughs> no, that didn't work at all. <laughs> Anyways, yep, I already said bye. Thanks for watching, guys. I only have a few characters left to go, so look forward to that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.